What's up gamers, Matty Mag here from the Mahalo.com video games team, live at E3 2011. Right now I'm hanging out with my new friend Jonathan here from Atari. Uh, Jonathan is the producer of Centipede Infestation with a brand new game coming out. And uh, Jonathan, talk to me a little bit about Centipede. It's it's a remake of the classic, the classic, it, right? It, it is, it is. I'll, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I would necessarily call it a, a, a remake. Um, so we, we looked at the original, and uh -huh. the great classic arcade game, and there were some things we definitely wanted to take out of that. Shooting centipedes, shooting bugs, killing bugs is a lot of fun. Right. Um, giant mutated bugs, those are fun too, we've got that. Um, and we also took, like in Centipede, the, the original, the, shoot the centipede and drop little mushrooms. And we looked at that and we said, tower defense mechanic. Right. And so, uh, as you're playing, like in this level right here, for example, uh, bugs will drop seeds, they'll actually grow into towers, that will like, shoot the enemy bugs and become your little sidekicks, or drop mushrooms that will be both helpful to you or barriers. So right now in this level, you've got this gun turret that's, uh, that's helping you out by shooting the bugs. He's also drawing fire, like the bugs are gonna try to use them. Right. Um, that spider that you just killed dropped a, a weapon power up, um, so you can pick that up. And so this is, it draws from a lot of classic games. You know, other people talk about you know, Smash TV and Robotron. Um, it's got that, it's got Centipede, and you know, I, I think it's got its own little thing too. Now tell me, I mean, Centipede, it's a, it's a really classic title. We, it's been around forever. Yes. I, I mean, essentially, as far as video games, since the dawn of time of video games. Okay. Why, why <laughs> now? You know, why, what, what was the, the inclination to bring it back, to bring it, revisit bugs? Sure, well, Atari had some, some of the best IP in the industry. I mean, Centipede, Asteroid, right. Missile Command, yeah. Battle, I mean, lots and lots of great stuff. Warlord, which you can see over there. Yeah. Um, and looking at, okay, but Centipede in its classic original form, uh -huh is not what people are playing today. We wanted to take those classic IPs and make it something that, that speaks to the original, but is also absolutely natural for the platform, what people want to play today. And so the, the bridge just extended up in the background so we can move on to the next little area. Got it. Um, and so what we've been doing is taking our classic IPs and right. working with great developers and figuring out ways to, to modernize them, Got bring it. them to, to today's gamers. And so Centipede is on the Wii, it's on the 3DS. We're working with Way Forward, who has a great gift of making great Wii and 3DS games. And so, um, you know, we're using their expertise and game design, mixed with our IP, and trying to come up with something cool and Centipede investigation. Now, what what's what's the future for Centipede? I mean, is this is this looking to be the start of a whole new you know franchise series of of bug smashing games? Well, you know, I'm not a superstitious person. <laughs> but right now, I really want to make sure that this one's awesome. Yeah. And then we'll talk about what comes next. Awesome. Now, and how long is the game roughly? Uh, so, so what you're seeing here is pre-alpha. Yeah. Um, a lot of stuff still in development, and so I I don't really want to say like specifics. We've got seven different environments you're going to walk through. The gardens, like you saw here, you're on rooftops. We've got another level that's in the city. There's marshlands, caves, lots of different environments. Right. The number of levels will be a bunch. Um, I. Right, it's over 20, um, but the specific number is yet to be determined. Awesome, awesome. And so you say this is uh, pre-alpha. When, yeah. when are you guys expecting the, the title to drop? So it will be out in fall. Fall, fall 2011. Uh, this year. Holiday. Wow. Yeah. Holiday 2011. Oh, shoot him. Oh, we're shooting this guy here. Yeah, shoot that guy there. <laughs> uh, so one of the things to point, so like these things you keep picking up are, are weapon parts. So keep, push up on the D-pad right now, uh -huh. you'll be using your upgraded machine gun. Oh, okay. There we go. So, if, and when this one's done, if you went D-pad to the right, you get your uh, your toxic ooze gun. Yeah. And the bottom one is our force gun, which kind of pushes the bugs away. And I think you may, oh no, you didn't. Now, when you're putting together a title like this, and you're, and you're coming up with ideas and in the creative process, I mean, where's the inspiration come for Big newer guns, different enemies. I mean, where are you drawing that type of creative freedom from? Uh, you know, we, we play a lot of really cool games. Uh, we, we watch a lot of good movies and talk a lot about what would be fun and try things. Uh, but uh, honestly, a lot of this has come from way forward. Uh, the developers, we were talking with them for what feels like three years about how to bring this, and um, you know, you really have to ask them about the specific inspiration, but really a lot of their brain child has gone into this. Now for our viewers out there that maybe aren't as familiar with the process of like, what's it take to put on a video game? Yeah. You as a producer, I mean, what is your, your main responsibility? If someone were to ask you, someone off the street, hey man, what's a producer do? How does a producer of a video game work? I mean, what, how would you respond? Okay, so, am I, so is this for like a general audience? Yeah. 
I, I would say it's not, the producer's job. Um, generally, my job is to help facilitate what the what the team is doing. So um, it's, it's as far as you know, working with, with them between the developer way forward and and our team at, at Atari, I'm working between there, uh, giving a lot of feedback. I think you know my day to day job is about trying to find ways to minimize suck and maximize good. That's I, be everyone's motto, right? Yeah. Well, Jonathan, I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out. It's been, it's, it looks like a lot, it's already it's just a blast. My so, uh, Centipede Infestation dropping this holiday season. Yes. Awesome. You heard it here first. Stay tuned. We're going to hang out with some more friends. Jonathan, thank you very, very much.